Hello friends, Kishan is here again and welcome you in this video tutorial. In this video tutorial, we are going to discuss about the how to process results of asynchronous uh, computations. So first point uh, we are going to take the most generic way to process the result of a uh, computation is to feed it to a function. The then apply method does exactly that. Accepts a function uh, instance the usage is to process the result and returns a future that holds a value returned by a function so basically in this video tutorial we are going to see how then apply functions works in uh, completable future class so here you can see in the code snippet in this slide what i have done uh, supply async which already we have seen this method exists in the completable future and this is a static method so directly you can call by class name and uh, uh, completable uh, uh, supply async takes a runnable as an argument so just we have defined a lambda expression as a runnable and we got the instance of uh, completable future and in this complete completable future just we are calling a method is called then apply and uh, as I discuss in this video as uh, as i have mentioned in this slide then supply accepts a functional function function functional interface and func uh, function function interface takes one argument as an input you process it and that returns a result so here basically for simplicity just uh, we are just concatenating results of the previous compatible future so that is nothing but the hello and just we are trying to concatenate uh, world so this is going to print hello world uh, so let's uh, go through the eclipse and try to understand through an example so here first of all you need to call uh, supply async method which is a static method in uh, future uh, com uh, com uh, computable, computable future class completable future and let's call a static method it's called sorry supply async uh, which takes supplier as an argument uh, it's basically takes a supplier not a, a, a renewable interface supplier and if you look into the supplier interface it's a functional interface like which takes uh, uh, which takes no parameter and that returns an object right so we can define as an a lambda expression so let's define a lambda expression for uh, this functional interface so this in interface does not take any parameter right and returns a string so just i'm going to return a uh, beautiful right so which i have defined as a lambda expression and this is going to return us the reference of uh, future computable future and finally we are going to call I want to process this result uh, right so to do the same we have a method is called as I have discussed in the slide uh, we have a method is called then then apply so I want to apply I want to process in uh, I mean input of the output of the first computable and for that we are going to use then apply first method which takes function as an argument right so function takes one input as an argument right so if a uh, lambda expression takes one input so giving the parenthesis is the optional and here what i'm trying to do i'm just just i'm going to concatenate the results of previous computable future and with some one string is called beautiful world something like this and this is going to return us instance of uh, computable future itself so we don't need to create one more instance for it so we can we can assign this we can assign a new result to this same variable right and if you call get method on it so computable future 
completable future dot get right and this get method throws some exception let's declare those exception instead of and and you can check the output of this guy final output will get like this so result and if you try to print the result so we get beautiful vault right so here basically we have called supply async method which takes a functional argument uh, lambda expression as a uh, an argument so lambda expression a method which does not take any parameter but returns some value so we got the result we are getting result beautiful from this first computable future and this result we want to process so so how we are processing our just we are taking the result of previous uh, completable future and just we are processing it here what we are doing here just concatenating one uh, more string right a string little with this and final results we are getting from the computable future but in real scenario you may use this concept for the some other complex calculation or some complex computation so that's the whole thing i wanted to cover here now next thing we are going to discuss in this slide so let's come back to the slide now next point in this slide saying that if you don't need to return a value down the future chain you can use an instance of consumer functional interface right here basically this guy returns us you some result right but if you don't want to at this point said that if you don't need to return a value down the future chain okay so uh, here basically we are just uh, applying some future chaining mechanism right we have a future computable future and we apply then uh, apply right but here we are getting the final result so this uh, chain result some uh, returns uh, some results so if in that case if you do if you don't want to uh, back any kind of result only you want the some processing to be happen so basically we are discussing this point for that if you don't need to return value down the future chain you can use an instance of the consumer functional interface its single method takes a parameter and returns nothing like what there's a method for uh, this huge case in the uh, completable future uh, the then except so instead of uh, here in previous example we have use then apply so if you don't want to the result back then you can use then accept method method right and receives a consumer and passes it to the result of the computation right the final future dot get call returns an instance of void type right so here you can see so we have a computable future and we again we call supply async which is a static method returning a string as a hello now in this completable future just we are calling then except and this is just uh, uh, printing a, a result of previous completable future but that this this guy is not going to return you any result this returns a void type so when you call future dot get then that is not going to return any value so whatever computers i will have to do we'll have to do inside the then accept method inside the then accept method itself so let's try to learn this thing so, an example so what i'll do so let's copy uh, then accept and say variable completable feature 2 right and instead of then apply now we are going to use a method is called uh, then accept then accept right and you can see this uh, method takes consumer and argument and consumer is again a functional interface if you can see and this functional inter uh, functional inter inter uh, this functional interface has a only one method is called accept that takes an argument but that returns nothing right that's it. so let's come back and here we can define a lambda expression for this so this method does not take any parameter so we can define lambda expression like this and you can have a curly bracket so uh, here you can see so 
you can say my my computation is done All right my computation is done and here just i'm going to concatenate it just trying to concat the result of the previous future so here you can see in this slide uh then except okay that takes uh, one string as a as an argument so text one input parameter right sorry and this like this and when you call if you can see the return type of so now here if you call get method on it then you'll get the result right if I try to run then see uh, we get the output my computation is done and beautiful right so just we are getting the result of previous completable future and just we are continuing concatenating over here but this than except method does not return any value right it's a return type is void computable future void so that does not return any value right so i hope you understood now third case we would like to discuss if you neither need the value of the computation nor want to return some value at the end of the chain right then you can pass a runnable lambda to the then run method in the uh, following example after the future dot get method is called we simply print a line in the console so again we call the uh, supply async method right with there we are passing the hello string and we are calling we are calling then run method and here we are just defining a lambda expression for runnable interface right so this method does not return you any value and that this method also does not take any input parameter that's the case so let's try to understand this thing through an example so here again i'm going to copy this line of code right and here let's set completable future 3 and here i'm going to call then run method and look look at here this method take or enable as an argument so here this method is not going to take any input parameter this is not going to take any input parameter again this is not going to return any value as well right so that's the thing i wanted to show you over here so here directly you can write so my task is done that's it and we when you call any get method on it so this will simply simply this will run whatever you have written inside the then run method but this will not take any input parameter and this, this will not return you any kind of value as well right so see this is the output we are getting from here so i hope you understood I mean three these three huge cases right these three methods so in initially we have seen how we can make use of the then, then apply method which takes uh, one input parameter and uh, that uh, you can say then input parameter that that takes a function right function is having a method which takes one input parameter and process the based on the, that input parameter process the uh, processing is happening and that finally it finally returns the result after that we have seen then except which accept one input parameter but that does not return any value right sorry that uh, takes uh, if you look into the then except then this takes a consumer and uh, as an argument so it takes a one input as a argument and that returns nothing and third use cases we have seen then run which does not take any input parameter and doesn't return any value so that's the three use cases we have seen in this video tutorial this code i'm going to upload on the github and github location i'm going to specify in the video description is itself 
सो थैंक्स फॉर वॉचिंग दिस वीडियो एंड सी यू नेक्स्ट वीडियो ट्यूटोरियल